your transaction may be in trouble, okay? And it's important for you to know who to blame and who to call when things go wrong. I dream it, I work hard, I grind till I own it. Own it. I twirl on the middles, albino alligators, Get up. El Camino with the silo, sipping Cuervo and no chisa. chisa. Sometimes I go out, I go out, I go hard, I go hard. Get what's what is up, y'all? Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Tyanne, but a lot of people call me Taz, and I am a licensed realtor. Wait, my bad. Y'all can't even see my oh, See that? Period. I am a licensed realtor here in the state of South Carolina, and I currently service the Columbia slash Fort Jackson area. So if you or anybody that you know are military affiliated and maybe PCSing to or from Fort Jackson, or maybe you're not military affiliated and you're, you're just moving to the area or moving from the area, I am your homegirl and I am here to help you with all of your real estate needs, whether that be buying, selling, investing. But wait, Tyann, I don't live in the state of South Carolina, but I do want to buy or sell my current real estate property. Can you still help me? Of course, because I wouldn't be your homegirl if my geographical network didn't expand across all 50 states. So what can happen is you get with me, I get you started, link you up with the lender, get you pre-approved, and then refer you to a trusted realtor in your area to get you closer to your real estate goals. Now that we got the shameless plug out of the way, if you clicked on this video, it's more than likely because you are a buyer, hopefully a first time buyer that stumbled across my channel and trying to catch these real estate gems that I do drop every week. So before we get any further into the video, go ahead and take a second, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I drop real estate gems like this every single week. And you don't want to miss none of these melanated real estate gems, do you? Right. But if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you are a buyer and you're just curious to know, or maybe even you're a seller and you're just curious to know what, Taj, who all make a real estate transaction happen? What go on behind the scenes? Taj, please put me on. And I got you. I am your homegirl, literally and figuratively. So let me just break it down for y'all, right? Because we're going to jump right into this video. It ain't even going to be too long. There is a team. When I say a team, trust me and understand that I do mean a team of people that help a real, tra help a real estate transaction from beginning to end. And today I'm going to list those nine people. Well, not some of them are specifically people, some of them our companies but there are nine pieces to or nine moving parts to a real estate transaction nine companies individuals whatever you want to call it responsible for this real estate transaction from the very be from the very beginning to the very end and as the buyer or even the seller a lot of times i think people for forget that there is a team or maybe people just don't know and that's what this video is for to educate you because a lot of the times specifically buyers think that everything that goes on is their realtor oh let me call my realtor or my real estate agent because yes there is a difference between a realtor and a real estate agent a realtor is someone that is bound by the national association of realtors they have took an ethics code and they just took their real estate career one step further to ensure ethical and efficient service to all of their clients so a lot of times people think that when something goes wrong in a transaction it's the realtor's fault and i think i speak for all realtors when i say listen y'all okay i understand that we are y'all first point of contact but everything ain't our fault and we understand that as you you the client may not know any better and that is why i'm trying to educate you guys today so let's get right into the list Today's list, I have for today's list, I have a nine people slash companies, whatever you want to call it, that make a real estate that make, that can make or break a real estate transaction. If we speak it frankly, because if the if any one of these nine drop the ball in communications or whatever it may be, listen, you the buyer or the seller, your transaction may be in trouble. Okay, and it's important for you to know who to blame and who to call when things go wrong. So the first part of a real estate transaction is going to be you guys, either the buyer or the seller. Real self-explanatory. There is no real estate transaction without a buyer and a seller. Then, second on the list is me, your trusted, licensed, professional, knowledgeable realtor or real estate agent. Just remember, I told you there is a difference. 
So there's going to be a real estate agent slash realtor on both sides. The buyer is going to have their own real estate agent or realtor and the seller is going to have their own real estate agent or realtor. The third person involved in a real estate transaction is specifically for the buyer and that is going to be your loan officer. So I know a lot of buyers think that your realtor or real estate agent are the ones who do everything. We do not. We only help you find, secure a property, put an offer on a property, and we type up the contract and we negotiate. And from that point forward, we are just a form of communication between all of these nine parties. So when it comes to all things mortgage, all things loans, your realtor slash real estate agent, unless they are a licensed loan officer or mortgage broker or something of the sort, all things loans are out of their scope of expertise and that is where your loan officer comes into play. The loan officer is who is going to be pre-approving you, who's going to be asking for all of the documents 50 million, billion, gazillion times and all things loan, mortgage related, you will be in direct contact with your loan officer, your real estate agent slash realtor and your lender. And if you don't know what a lender is, it is just a fancy term for a financial institution, bank, credit union, wherever you're getting the money for this loan. That lender is going to assign you a loan officer. That loan officer is handling your specific transaction. They will also be handling other transactions simultaneously, but that's who you go to when you have questions about your loan. Next, you kind of heard me just talk about it, is going to be the lender. Like I just said, the lender is just a financial institution or bank or credit union, wherever you're getting the loan from, that is the umbrella of your lender. And then from that, we will fall out your loan officer. The fifth person responsible for making or breaking a real estate transaction is going to be the home appraiser. So this is a key component for both the buying side and the selling side. Because as a buyer, you want to make sure this home appraises for the price that the seller is charging. And as a seller, you want this home to appraise at the price that you're charging so that the buyer can buy it. So a home appraiser is super critical and super important. And there are many and plenty of times where a home appraiser can make or break a deal. So whether or not the appraisal comes back good, high, low, that has nothing to do with your lender, that has nothing to do with your realtor, that is all a separate person and a separate company. And as a buyer, you need to be aware that the cost of a home appraisal may be a cost that you have to fork out of pocket. The next and sixth person responsible for making or breaking a real estate transaction is gonna go hand in hand with the appraiser and that is gonna be the home inspector. As a buyer, you want to get a home inspected before you tell the bank that you're going to take out this loan for hundreds of thousands of dollars. You want to make sure that the home is in fact in good standing. The home is actually in good condition for the seller to be selling for that price. And as a seller, you want this home to be inspected so that it can bring buyers comfort in knowing that you not only took care of your home, but you're asking for a fair price. Also important to note, buyers, this cost for a home inspection is one that in most states you are responsible for forking out of pocket. The seventh person, but not really a person, but company that is critical to a real estate transaction is going to be the title company. So for buyers, if you don't know what that is, the title company is going to be a company that you, the buyer, pay more than likely out of the transaction. So this is not a cost you have, you have to fork up up front it may be and you should be prepared just in case it is but in most cases this cost does come out of the transaction so it'll just be tacked on to your loan and not coming out of your personal pocket title company is going to run a title search they want to make sure that the person selling you this home i.e the seller actually owns this home there's no liens on this property besides maybe a mortgage if the seller still owes money on that home and that company is going to make sure hey listen you can buy this home the person who's trying to sell it to you actually owns it there's no clouds on the title meaning this isn't a situation where a, a married but soon to be divorced couple one party's trying to sell the home but the other person isn't agreeing so the other person went ahead found you the buyer and was like yeah i'm trying to sell but in reality you need the other significant other partner life partner spouse to sign off but you don't have their signature title company is going to make sure that all of that is squared away and that you are getting a free and clear title to this home when you sign on that dotted line and tell the bank you're going to take out all this money so title company super critical and there are plenty of many of times where a title search comes back where there's a cloud on the title and you the buyer need to understand what that means that means something ain't right there in that case paying a title company 
in your best interest, I highly, highly recommend. I would never suggest you purchase any piece of property without paying a title company to run a title search. The next and eighth person slash company that is crucial to a real estate transaction is going to be the attorney. Most states require that real estate transactions be done at an attorney's office or with a licensed attorney present. Licensed attorney is the one that is going to go over all of the documentation with you on closing day and expect for the, th the, the package to be about that thick. Yes, there's a lot of documents you have to sign on closing day and the attorney is going to walk you through every single page of every single document. If you have any questions, they are the ones that you ask because most of the documents are written in very legal jargon or legal terminology and only an attorney is qualified and licensed to be able to explain what those legal terms mean. So in other words, they are your lawyer that go over the documents with you. Another cost that you, the buyer, are responsible for, but that can be paid out of the transaction as well. And the last piece of this puzzle, the ninth person or company that is crucial to a real estate transaction is going to be the insurance company. You as a buyer, you are going to need home insurance. Most transactions, especially if it is a finance transaction, which means you are getting a mortgage loan, is going to require you to get home insurance. And as a buyer, why would you not want home insurance? Yes, it costs you some money up front. Yes, it's expensive. It's another bill. But if you have a budget mortgage, it'll be rolled into your mortgage anyway, but you wanna make sure that you have home insurance. Nobody wants to buy a home and six months in, your roof caves in for due to unforeseen circumstances that the home inspector didn't catch and now you gotta buy a new roof and you only been a homeowner for six months and you don't got enough money saved for that. Nobody wants to do that. That is why insurance is super, super critical. Uh, some transactions may require the seller to also have home insurance up until the day of closing so there is no gap this home was always insured from when the seller purchased it during their transaction up until the very day that they sold it to you and then from that day forward you have that home insurance so insurance is super important and the insurance company is a very critical part to a real estate transaction and those are the nine critical pieces of your real estate team of any real estate team these are the nine departments that are working behind the scenes to help get you and your loved one either into your dream home or out of your current home and into your next dream home. I know a lot of the times you, the buyer or you, the seller may feel super inclined to, you know, throw all of these responsibilities on your realtor, but everything besides what I told you is out of our scope of expertise. So now you guys can kind of understand why it's so important for you, the client, to know all of these people are working on your team and behind the scenes to make this transaction flow as smoothly and effectively as possible. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, you're officially a part of the tribe. You stuck with me now. So if you didn't in the beginning, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down low. Go ahead, turn on your post notifications because I drop real estate gems like this once a week and you don't want to miss them because if you thought this video was helpful you definitely should comment down below in the comment section what was what was the most alarming part what part of this was a shock to you did you know that there were this many people working behind the scenes on every single real estate transaction granted some of them have an asterisk because like if you're paying all cash there won't be a lender or a loan officer but y'all get the gist for the most part all finance uh mortgage loan related real estate transaction involve all nine of these groups that I just discussed. And if this video was helpful, I got faith that you, yes, you, I will see you in my next video. Peace y'all. I dream it, I work hard, I grind till I own it. Own it. I twirl on the middles, albino alligators, the camino with the steel, sipping Cuervo.